My name is Jeff, and uh, I'm here to share my story about my spinal CSF leak. Uh, I work in the entertainment industry, and uh, I have uh, a fiance, and we have a little uh, baby boy. Before my spinal CSF leak, I was very active, um, athletic, working out all the time, um, working, producing um, TV, and um, also acting. I was at this uh, this entertainment event, and um, I suddenly had this weird headache. It was early evening, and I had like a headache I'd never experienced before. I went home, woke up the next day, it was gone. Sure enough, three, four in the afternoon, same headache. Day in, day out, and I was like, wow, this is, this is weird. I've gotta go see a doctor. The journey to my diagnosis was extremely frustrating. I had a brain MRI that was clean. I had a spinal tap that came back that was clean. I had a full MRI of my spine with dye clean. And then I had a DSM and that came back that was clean. So after all these tests and all the, everything was diagnosed normal, I was ready to give up. And um, more importantly, I was afraid that my doctor was gonna give up. He did not give up on me and that was so important to me because your mood really, it really messes with your mood when you have these things. It really messes with you um, when you live with this condition. I'm like, well, what else can we do? And he's like, well, we can do a DSM, but this time we can turn you on your side. <laughs> I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. He goes, that, we've been finding leaks that way. So I'm in the recovery room and uh, after the second DSM and the doctor comes in and he's like, we found the leak. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, you have a venous fistula between T7 and T8. It was such a, a momentous occasion to find this leak after what I had been through. Once I was diagnosed, um, the doctor recommended that I have surgery to repair the venous fistula. So after the surgery, I was uh, in the recovery room. I felt a, uh, a headache, but I guess it was, a, it was a high pressure headache, they told me. And, um, and then they said, that's gonna take a little while to, to adjust to, your body's recalibrating. So I just spent um, about a month to six weeks sort of recalibrating, and I had that headache on and off. And sure enough, it faded. I have a, a little boy and I'm, I'm, I'm running at, around after him. I'm playing with him. And this is like something that I couldn't even imagine doing when I uh, was suffering. And now I just feel so fortunate. I want to give people hope because it's so important that you have hope and you don't give up. Uh, there are solutions out there. That's what I want you to know if you're watching and you, if you're suffering and and you're you're just you just you're just not sure just don't give up